Hey everybody, it's Vicki. I hope you're well. I'm gonna talk with you today about resilience. You hear that thrown around all the time these days. Are you a resilient person? Do you work for a resilient company? Is your family resilient? Will this country be resilient? Are we going to make it through these times? Did you know that resilience is my favorite word? If you know me, you know that. If you don't know me, I'm telling you now. But did you know that the word resilience actually is an engineering or a construction term? It's the ability to absorb or avoid damage without suffering complete failure. So it's that bridge that can weather the hurricane. It's the resilience of um, a street that can weather the earthquake and how are things made from the perspective of engineers and construction companies so that they withstand that pressure of change. That's what we're talking about. It's the capacity of a system to absorb that disturbance and reorganize, and I love that part because we have to start to learn to reorganize while undergoing change. Basically, it's our ability to adapt, but that's not always easy. I'll tell you why I'm holding this cup in just a minute. It has a point. How are you adapting? How are you doing today? Let me share with you some practices that I have that help me to get through the everyday's um, disturbances of life and to be able to reorganize my mind, my words, my thoughts, my actions, so that I can remain as strong as possible while undergoing that change. One, I practicing past the moment. The moment might not look so positive, but practice seeing past it. What will tomorrow look like for you? What do you envision next week to look like? What's gonna happen next year? So for me now, I think about myself, I think about Valley Austin, being a much stronger, more resilient person and company at the end of all this, and I think about that, and I'm excited for that. So looking and seeing past the moment, seeing past the difficulties. I maintain a hopefulness People that have a very um, doom and gloom attitude can only see that doom and gloom right in front of them and they cannot see past that moment. Um, so maintain that hopefulness. It's a mindset that you have to practice. Choose to believe that it's going to be better and balance that out with what you can do and what your part is today for making it better in the moment. Look for ways to enjoy life. Don't spend time sitting in front of a TV that just makes your heart sink. Don't spend time just talking about things that are negative all the time. Be aware of what's going on, but find ways to just enjoy every day. What makes your heart sing? What sets your whole soul on fire? Those are the kinds of things you wanna make sure you keep a part of every single day. Find something in each day that you can point to and say, that's what set my soul on fire today. Then I encourage you to connect with strong and supportive and encouraging people. People will bring you down, but people will also bring you up. And for you to remain resilient through this time, you will need to surround yourself with people. People you don't know that may have a positive blog or Instagram feed, but those family and friends and colleagues that you have that just lift you up and encourage you and say, supportive things to you to help you to keep going. Remind yourself that others have weathered this storm. Throughout life, people have carried heavy backpacks. People have had stories, and it's no different today. We all have a story to tell. And sometimes those tough stories that we're aware of from other people can help inspire us to keep us going, to know there is an end in sight. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, if you will. So strive for that positive attitude. Disturbance is a part of life. The heaviness that we have to carry sometimes is a part of life. So I'm not gonna say that life is a, just like a rose garden that's easy to walk through all the time, but it's practicing these things that help us not only become resilient in the moment, but as we walk through tough times with more resiliency, then we become more resilient. It just keeps going and keeps building. Um, and helps us to be able to cope with even bigger disturbances. Now, why am I holding this cup? Well, it has about 32 ounces of water. And when I first picked it up, it wasn't 
feeling too heavy. But I've been talking to you now for about five minutes and some of you might have turned me off, but if all of a sudden I'm feeling the weight of it, there's not more water in it than there were than there was five minutes ago. It's just how long I'm holding it. And so there comes a point where you have to put something down. And that's where you can take the moment to focus on things that are not the heaviness. Or let a friend take that off your hand. Recognize that I might have to pick that back up. But in the moment, it helps me just to breathe and separate myself from what is heavy on my heart right now. All right, that is my little tutorial on resilience. I hope that you all will be able to absorb the disturbances in your life right now and reorganize while you're undergoing change. Be well.